Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 34 tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see number validation or user id validation. Up to the last tutorial we have seen how to create the table, list view, combo box, how to add different fields in the database. Now there is a one problem with the fields whenever we add any id it takes any anything or any when we create any user so whenever we assign any id it takes anything for example if i give a id with a, a or any if it's not a number then it it's also go going to save this into the database for example when I save so it's going to create it's going to save into the database but in the database we have saved that it must be integer so it's going, going to give a SQL error or any thing like other character it's going to a uh, save for example when I declare at the rate and save it so it it's going to create a user but there is a problem in the database that we have assigned that user ID that ID as a integer so it's not going to save now we are going to set the validation for the fields that it must be a integer value so let's start with the application now this is the 34th tutorial for number or user id validation now to do that i'm going to create a one more class in the application so say private boolean and say validate number and in this I'm going to add one some of the regular expression classes to match the pattern that is whether this is, this must be a number when we add a user id that must be number that has to check or validate and if it's number then only we are going to save that user or if that number that id is not a number or any other character it's going to invalidate or do not save the number so let's start I'm going to add one pattern class from Java so pattern p equals to pattern dot compile and I'm going to provide a string so in the string I'm going to add a regular expression that is the number must be between the 0 to 9 and it must be a number so and a number can be 
वन डिजिट टू डिजिट और एनी थिंग सो बट इट मस्ट बी एट लीस्ट अ वन डिजिट नंबर सो आई एम गोइंग टू एड प्लस सो वेन एवर वी एड एनी आई डी इट मस्ट बी अ वन डिजिट आई डी एंड इट मस्ट बी अ इंटीजर और अ नंबर नाउ फिक्स द इम्पोर्ट फॉर द पैटर्न next i'm going to add a matcher class and going to give a or assign input to the matcher so i'm equals to p dot matcher and i'm going to give there a get text so i'm going to take the input from the form that is id text and matches with the this pattern now fix the input for the matcher add java util regex matcher to the input now next if these two are match then if yum dot find if match found then and the match must be con or it must be match with the full or complete text so yum dot group dot equals with the id text so whenever it it found found a found the match with the the string that is with the number and it compares with then the total number the total number should match with the with the with the input so so this match when match is found it will it going to compare with the total input and if it's true we are going to return a true and if it's not matches else sorry we are going to return false but before that i'm going to add a dialog box so that it will alert us for the invalid number so to do that i'm going to copy this alert from validate fields and paste it here this is for now we are going to generate a warning using alert for validate number and here please enter we are going to write please enter valid number so first of all we have taken a pattern then we have 
take an uh, input ID from the uh, application or form and then we are going to match this with the input pattern if it's found matching it, it's going to compare it with all input text and if it's found a true it's going to respond a true or else it's found uh, invalid we are going to generate a dialog box to enter the valid number and returning a false now I am going to use this valid number class into the our save button action method now we are going to use her id so I am going to re remove this id from the validation fields and save this and run once again so this is my application with the table now I am going to add one more user say I am going to click on anything user now if I make it empty I am going to save this it has been saving again but we have not added any ID to the so it's not adding any thing to the database because we have to add that validate number class in a our save button action method so come to the save, save button action method and in that we are going to add a validation number class and and validate field class if these two classes are true then only going to save the user so whenever it enters into the validate number it's going to invoke the validate number class it it's going to check the whether id is a valid integer or not if it's valid it's going to save the user if or go into the try catch block if it's not a valid number or not an integer number it's going to open a alert dialog box similarly for other fields it's going to check and enter into the try catch block now save again and runs now once again save make it clear and I'm going to try to save this now click on save so here a warning dialog box that gives a please enter valid number warning to save any number so okay I'm going to add any number for example if I say any add character to the number we are going to check its validate or not so save hence again it's going to give a invalidation that is the number is wrong so, so if if I am entering any a number followed by any character and if it's we are going to check the number is save or not now again save so here it is it's not saving any a number because it's following with a character so it must be a integer value to add this number so if I say 12 or any special character it's not going to add so so if with a 
now I'm going to save this with the integer id 12 so this is the 12 say the username I'm going to say and now we can join and save now this is the valid number so it's going to not going to give any validation error and it's going to save into the database so okay and here is the new user which we have added into the database so this is the tutorial on number or user id validation if you have any doubt or question ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail .com. and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial